worldwide. Hello everyone, I'm TG and welcome back to the House of Sleaze. Today, well today I got a fun one for you. This is a build for January that is going to make it so your entire team never runs out of Umbrella credits. This build works best whenever you're paired with a full support Valerie, and that's just going to make it so your economy is sky high and there's really nothing that the Mastermind can do about it. But even if you're solo queuing, this works out great because not only is January going to increase everybody's economy, her own is going to be stronger than it ever has been before. So let's dive in and take a look. So to start things off with, for her EMP, I'm going with Camera Lockdown, but this one's completely up to you. It's not going to affect the build, it's really just based on your personal preference. I've been going up against a lot of Nikolai's recently, so Camera Lockdown is my best friend. Now for her Overload, it's very important that you go with Lockdown. And the reason is, Lockdown functions in a way that the other two variants don't when we couple it with her next passive, Pickpocket. What this is going to do is give you Umbrella Credits, the entire time that you're locking down a camera. The other two aren't going to do that for you, they're just going to take the camera out. Now speaking of pickpocket, how it works is you get umbrella credits every single time you attack an active camera. And the amount of credits you get is actually based on the damage that you do to the camera, not the amount of bullets that you fire at the camera. So I'm going to go into how much you get exactly a little bit later on. But for now what you need to know is it only affects active cameras, it does not affect gun turrets. Lastly for her Cyber Monday, I am going with Bargain Bin because that's going to reduce the cost of everything in the armory and that's very important to January's economy. So now let's take a look at her equipment. So what I'm using is Wallet 3, Decoder 3, Lucky Charm 3, and Umbrella Credit Card. Wallet 3 is going to give me 250 credits at the beginning of the match and Decoder 3 is going to greatly decrease the cost of everything in the armory even further which stacks of course with Bargain Bin. Lucky Charm 3, that's going to greatly increase the amount of Umbrella Credits that drops but you can actually switch this one out if you are playing with somebody else who's using a full support Valerie or anybody else who is using Lucky Charms because if they're stacking more you still want them to pick it up. Lastly the Umbrella Credit Card is going to make it so I start with nothing but 250 Umbrella Credits. That way I can replace them up right off the bat and I don't have to worry about stretching out that economy at the beginning. So a little bit of information on how Pickpocket works. Generally I run the Matilda whenever I run this build and what that means is every three shot burst I do in a camera in area one I'm getting roughly 10 umbrella credits and in area two you're going to get roughly 20 and in area three it's going to be from 20 to 25. But if you do switch out your weapons for something like a lightning hawk or a shotgun those credits are going to scale accordingly based on the damage that you're doing but you are still going to get that same amount you're going to get X amount for taking out a camera. So that's the build, and now I'm going to show you guys a match I played earlier using it against a Spencer. Spencer is really great for this because he's always on his cameras. The only thing is, in this match, I actually used malware just because I prefer malware over lockdown. But if you really want to max out your credits, definitely go for lockdown. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Check it out. Ooh, Spencer. Sometimes it's like the world is made just for me. Why do you choose to fight? So give me Matilda. Damn it. Well, I'll go with the shotgun instead. And just look at that. I can buy pretty much anything I need. I won't be running out of bullets this time, that's for damn sure. Get off my boy. So let's just see, now actually you know what, I'll malware it. That's an important camera for later. Okay, a rollicking good start. I might be able to see something. Well I don't know about you guys, but I'm going this way. The other way is always a nightmare. It's all compact and they always load it up. I ain't having that. So if you're solo queuing like I am now, you really want to, you know, rush towards the umbrella credits because sometimes your team doesn't pick up on it that you're actually picking up more. Whoa. Alright, let's see here. 
Oh yeah, that's just good stuff. Go ahead and bite me. One thing I've been noticing though, and you might want to keep this in mind if you do run this build. If you're thinking that you can just kind of farm cameras for umbrella credits, well no, it doesn't quite work that way. You're not able to really replenish just from cameras. You're going to still be losing out with every shot. So if you're, you know, shooting a camera three times with a shotgun, you're not going to get the appropriate amount of umbrella credits to make up for that ammo. So you don't want to be hunting down cameras. You want to just play normally and in playing, you're going to increase everyone's economy. So let's head over to the fucking party zone. Now, this is why I like to run malware, even though Lockdown does give you more credits. Because Lockdown, it takes too long to really earn the credits. And of course, it has its utility against, you know, Spencer's or Nikolai's. But overall, I just prefer malware, and that's why I'm running it. There we go. Oh no, Becca. It's like I'm least accurate whenever it really counts. I think he broke my malware out there with an e-shield. Yeah, so I didn't see the 10 seconds and that room is definitely loaded up. That's okay, it just gives us an opportunity to get a little more money. Perfect. So six minutes, looking good. Now let's check out our economy. I can't wait to see how many credits we have. Come on, my mouth is watering. Good, good. The results 500. Alright, I will take it. Now that's probably a boost of a close to 200, I would say. Because generally... Generally, I'm looking at 300 if no one's using Lucky Charms after I buy everything I need in the first area. So, that ain't not bad. Oh, that sounds close. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Now, one thing you might miss when running the- fucker when running this build is you might miss your camera damage and I get that I totally get that but if you really wanted to you could switch out Lucky Charm 3 for EMP rounds I just think in in a lot of situations especially if you're playing with a group this build is the way to go because then you can coordinate with the others to take cameras down for solo queuing though yes I can see wanting high caliber or anti armament though Oh, wait a second, that's not Yurik. Oh, he fooled us, Becca. Let's go. Nice. Oh, I hear a D field. Holy shit. Alright, I gotta pay attention to the ground here. Nah, it's just an imposter. <laughs> you fucker. Let's go. From a is anyone else gonna get it? I really don't want it. Okay. So this shouldn't be too hard. He doesn't seem to be spamming. I'm not sure what exactly his build is. But it's a little curious. 
Got a lot of fucking high explosive mines, I can tell you that for free. And I didn't catch what D-field is using, so I still gotta look out. Might be using generator. Yeah, somebody also cleaned those up. And Spencer is just bitter. Oh, thank you, Valerie. Holy shit. Oh, there's an anchor, isn't there? Yep. Alright, easy now. No, oh, Valerie got it. See, there's Valerie just getting shit done. Whoa. That was too close for comfort. Just cover all our bases here. Yes! Fucking nailed it. So I didn't get to shoot too many cameras there. Oh my god, that was a high explosive mine, wasn't it? <laughs> Jesus. Well, we've got oodles of time, though. So I think we got this one. Now, I didn't get too much credits there, but we should still be in a good spot. Very well. Proceed to the next area, and I shall see what I can... 620, oh my. So, now I just got more money than I can spend. Mo money, mo problems. And if I'm happy, that means everybody else is happy as well. I might as well throw these grenades because I need to free up my inventory. He's gonna anchor these guys, isn't he? Oh, no, it's too hot. Too hot out here. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Becca. Take that aggro. God damn it. Alright, I'm I'm over it. I'm over this area. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Okay, I see. Going the clone route. See, clone is so fucked. Because it seems like it's not affected by walls, as you can see. But refract, sometimes when you place it down, there's nothing in front of you and it cancels out the refract, so... I don't know. It's suspicious. Alright, give me that those fat stacks, bro. Oh, Sam. How did you not see those coming? Easy now. So this build, I mean, I feel... Can I hit that? Yeah. I feel a little bad about it. Just because survivor economy right now is... Just so high. Higher than it really sh God. Damn it. Higher than it should be. And this is just... If you're running this with a pre-made, or even just one other person, like I said, running Valerie, it's gonna be just sickening. Sickeningly unfair, because they can just all rock shotguns, all have explosives, and just never run out of economy. Even a super spam Spencer would be sweating a little bit, I think. Ah, 
just out of range. No, no, Becca, don't do it. Alright, that's two. Let's see what we got here. Get rid of that garbage. Another 680. Wow. I just... It's... Uh, it's I don't even know what to say. I can buy whatever I want. I'll uh, transition to the Lightning Hawk, I suppose. It's almost too much credits. I might actually take out Lucky Charm 3 after all. Because this is just excessive. You could uh, squeeze in FMJ rounds 3. Or Bulletproof Fest 3. Oh, that fuck. Didn't go good for them in there. And now we just play the waiting game. Oh, Sam's doing the dirty work. Yeah, any time now. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. Alright, gonna be tight. Only eight and a half minutes. Okay, what did I end off with here? 470, okay. Wow. I feel bad. Like, can I drop some of these credits? Let go. Oh, see, that's what I get for laughing. <laughs> okay, alright. Nice, right, got a shield on there. Okay, another shield still, okay. Come on. Oh my. Forget it. So that's Miss Moneybags January. As you can see, your economy is unstoppable. Almost unfairly so. So as always, I'm TG. If you like what you saw, you know what to do. If not, eh. And if you want to support the channel and see these builds a week in advance, head on over to Patreon. Keep it sleazy.